Welcome back! In this video I want to make the use of the rigid body uh, of NVIDIA Flex and uh, the idea of this video comes from uh, Killing Floor 2 that is a game developed using NVIDIA uh, Flex where it's possible to see blood effects when you for example uh, shoot on a, another player and also it's possible to see some uh, it's possible to break the wall and when you break the wall you can see all of the pieces uh, of the wall that go around and spread all around uh, but let's start the idea uh, of this video uh, is to start with the previous level that I have implemented and now what I will do uh, as first thing is to create uh, a really basic environment a really short town let's do it I have interrupted the acceleration because uh, what I want to show is again how to add the particle primitive body uh, before to continue and as you can see I have added the uh, under CSG box this particle primitive body and this is necessary in order to give uh, the collision to the flex to flex engine okay now we have to add also the col the flex collision uh, to this uh, we can call it to this house uh, another thing really important is to also take care of the uh, normal physics engine collision and to do it you have to go in the csg box and click here use collision perfect now the level should be ready let's try if I can go outside no I can't perfect also I have added the I have increased the speed of the bullet of this game but I think that it's uh, too fast so let's decrease it the problem is that the ball goes through the wall and I don't want to do that also one thing that I can do is to go in the bullet and change the, the gravity scale to zero so the bullet doesn't get affected from the gravity but uh, before going further let me uh, let me change something because uh, I don't really like use tree mesh in these cases because the tree meshes make it really difficult uh, take the ball stop the the bullet and in fact you can see that go through the walls really easily so let me decompose this scene and by the way to decompose this scene what I will do is to simply remove the collision here and instead of the collision generated by Godot that generate for that for CSG will generate pre mesh collision I will add a static body with a shape with a normal box in this way it's really it's more difficult for the for the bullet to go through let me check exact and by the way instead instead of adding the box shape a new box shape what I can do instead is this one go here put the so put the static body uh, as child of this wall change the transformation to zero in order to match uh, these two transforms and go here copy this shape and apply this shape here well the, the primitive body shape used by flex can be also shared by by bullet rigid bodies you don't need to model it more times the same shape for different physics engine but you can reuse it 
uh, even later. To recap, the idea is that uh, when the bullet hit the wall, it scratched the wall and a lot of small pieces of wall uh, go, uh, go on the floor and stay on the floor. And uh, why we can we have to use flex for this for this task and we can't use bullet for example. Well, we could use bullet. But we will see that with flex we could add uh, a lot more objects in the scene and this will make uh, a really big difference. So, uh, in order to add this effect, the first thing that we need is to is a signal from the bullet. Perfect. Now, what I did basically uh, is this one. I have taken the direct uh, the direct state of the of this rigid body of the bullet rigid body and basically I am extracting the collision the collision data like the impulse the normal and the position why i need this data is because the position of course is because i have to spawn the flex particles in that position the normals is because i want that the flex particles has uh, some velocity when spawned and also this velocity uh, i want to that it depends on the impulse generated and uh, by the way if you don't know what the impulse is the impulse is a value that is more high if the impact is more violent so for example if you start the level and you go near the wall you and you fire you can see that the impulse is minus 19 Instead, if you go on the, other, on the opposite direction, you can see that the impulse is less violent because it lost uh, some velocity during its traveling. So now, to add the, the effect, a uh, really, really important thing to do is to create the object to spawn. And to do it, create another scene. And we have to add a custom node a rigid uh, particle rigid body with uh, of course the mesh to give the the shape of the rigid body and i can add a really uh, a really simple mesh now i have uh, created uh, this object uh, that is really really simple and uh, what I have to do is to bake the model in order to create uh, the, the actual collisions. Uh, but uh, I don't want to add uh, all these particles for this object because I don't need uh, such a pre precision. So let's increase the radius in order to spawn less particles. And I, I think that six particles uh, are enough. For, for this purpose and let's test if this if this shard is ready to stay on the level let's search to be more fast yes perfect now the next step is to uh, spawn the, these shards when the bullet hit the wall Okay, let's recap what I did. Basically, I have uh, taken the the shard scene, and and then inside the and then inside this function that is executed when uh, the bullet touched the uh, the, uh, the wall, 
what I do is to instance my shard scene, then set the transform, really basic thing just to test it, and then add it inside the scene, and then destroy the bullet. And destroy the bullet, what does is, is this, and this is how it looks like. Uh, but uh, the bullet stops correctly without any problem. The problem is that for some reason the flex doesn't show the, the flex object doesn't show as oh but it's here. Really strange. So give me some moments to to think about what the problem is. I am back soon. Oh by I just got what the problem is. Let's, let's solve it together. The problem is really easy. <laughs> I, am, I am taking the local position exact. And instead what I want to use is, is get contact colli collider position. Collider. Okay. Let's see now. Perfect, exactly, exactly, but make it more interesting, what if instead of spawn just one, we spawn more, multiples, let's do it. Okay, I have created uh, this function, spawn shard, that basically spawns the shard Re really easily. But uh, why I have created it? Because uh, I have added some handy functionality to this function. For example, uh, the randomness rotation. And so spawn the shard not always in exact same rotation. Also, I have uh, implemented this pos position shifting that basically shifts the position and let's see how it works. As you can see now, it spawns uh, never in the exact same position. But now, what uh, I told you before is that I want to spawn many of these and to do it I want to do for in range for example we can uh, we can say 10 so 10 per bullet let's see what happens wow exact this is exactly the the effect that i searched for Okay, but what I want to do before adding the velocity is to create more shards. I have created the shards and I have also created this array that holds all the shard scenes that I have created. And here I am simply uh, randomized the sharding selection in this way. Wow! Perfect. I am really happy about This is a really nice effect and I am spawning only 10 10 shards per hit. Let's see what happens with 50 Wow Imagine by adding some really nice audio Wow, cool. But sorry, let me paint uh, these shards because I want to test. Uh, I want to test to paint it. Okay, I have painted it. I have already tested. Really nice. 
ok but now let's add uh, the velocity uh, so we can simulate a kind of explosion I am really enjoying recording this video and uh, because this was the first time that I used flex in this way and I am really happy uh, about the result so but first uh, was a bit tricky implement the velocity thing because uh, I, um, I, I have to make it more easy but uh, uh, let me explain how it works so basically we have the spawn shard the function that I have already created that you already know and uh, in, my in the shard uh, I am setting the velocity using the function set initial velocity that is a function that I have created uh, in GDScript on the, on the shard easy and the, the function looks like this one set initial velocity so basically it's tricky because as I explained in the vid in the previous video where I gave you uh, an overview of what flex is uh, I, uh, I told you that flex to interact with it you have to rethink uh, rethink how to approach it because you have to deal uh, with the uh, view and also parallel processing so I can touch the particles position the the particle velocity the particle normals and all particles data only during the synchronization but in short I have uh, created uh, I am connecting uh, the signal uh, on command process that the signal when is executed return me an object commands that allow me to do uh, a lot of um, uh, a lot of uh, interaction let's see this interaction so the particle body command object give the possibility to add particles to the body add some springs between two particles deactivate particles apply force, apply velocity, uh, change the mass, the normal uh, so do uh, a lot of stuff with particle body that we will see uh, step by step what I do here is to iterate uh, inside all the particles of the inside the body and for each particle simply assign the velocity it's really easy at the end at the end of this process I don't want that this function is executed again uh, so I can simply disconnect the command process and that's it it could, could seem a bit strange initially but I told you with flex and with parallel processing you have to rethink the way how you implement some uh, some effects or some gameplay implementation but let's try and let's see how it looks like now wow it's really it's really awesome i'm really proud of this effect that's it and then you have to imagine that these are par these are not visual particles only these are physics particle in fact you can still interact with it it's really nice effect and uh, remember if I could add to these particles also uh, visual particles that doesn't interact with the environment but add more effects and probably I will do it in next videos so that's it as i told you before i am really enjoyed recording this video and i would like to receive some comments some improvement on uh, some other effects that would like to add to, to this scene and uh, also i invite you to try it and let me and show me what you do with it so for now that's it see you in next video bye